Where are you going? I'm gonna go upstairs. I need to get my clothes from the laundry room. Okay. What's up everyone? It's me, TJ Jackson, and I am here to answer the questions from my very first Q&A. Royal has told me I have to do this, so I'm doing it. All right, here we go. If you had the world's attention for one minute, what would you say? What would I say? That's a good question. That's from thriller.otw. What I would say is focus on experience and focus on your loved ones. Um, stop focusing on materialism. Stop focusing on flash in the pans and what's gonna make you currently happy. Think long term, think big picture, and always be grateful for what you do have. That was a little less than one minute, but that's, that's pretty much the gist of what I would say. Question number two. By the way, all these questions Royal picked. I wanted him to pick them, I'm, so I'm seeing them for the very first time. Um, question number two is from Sequoia. First, hi and love you. Second, what made you decide to do a solo tr project? Third, what singer, rapper, and or producer would you like to collaborate with? The first, hi and I love you. I love you too, Sequoia, and thank you for always supporting me and my brothers. You're a big supporter of DDJF, and it means a lot to us. What made you decide to do a solo project? I had been writing and recording music for, you know, really forever. Uh, not ever, but since I was 15, 13, I've been writing and recording my own music. Was never confident enough that it was ready for the world. Um, but as years go by, and you know, your, your palette for what you feel is creativity expands, I had been feeling more and more confident. And I went out to Nashville, was writing for other artists, which I had been doing. But for the first time, I really wanted to do something for myself. And I felt like I had something to contribute to the world in terms of music, in terms of lyrics, in terms of melody. And that's what inspired me to do my own thing. So um, that, that's that answer. Third, what singer, rapper, and or producer would you like to collaborate with? I think, that's a good question, man. Um, whew, rapper, it'd be Kendrick. Kendrick Lamar is, is, is boss to me. I love J. Cole too, so it'd be one of those two. Um, in terms of singer, um, Khaled I like a lot. John Mayer I like a lot. And um, there's gotta be some old school singers I would love to work with. Um, yeah, but uh, I don't know. Smokey Robinson keeps coming to my head, so maybe Smokey. Um, but that, that's that answer. What is something, this is from Katherine King 107. What is something that Papa T has taught you that you use in your daily life? I try to exhibit humbleness. My father always taught my brothers and I to be humble, um, that we have to make sure we are grounded, that we are no better than everyone else, um, to be considerate. And that is something that um, I, I'm so grateful for. And it's, it's truly who my father is. He's such a cool, chill, low-key person that that is something I try to exemplify and be myself. And by the way, I love you, Pops. Thank you for everything you've always done for me. Um, Cop Michael underscore JJ wants to know, what keeps you going in life through all the hard stuff, etc.? Oh, that's, that's I, I'm, I'm one of those guys who, who dwells a lot. I used to dwell a lot. I used to, you know, being a perfectionist, you always feel like something could be better and, and you're hard on yourself. Um, I think she meant something different, but let me finish this thought. As I've gotten older, I've, I've learned the importance of not being that way, of, of absolutely doing your best, but letting it go and moving on. Um, because it, it can get to the point where it can be detrimental to yourself, your creativity, and your health. So to all you perfectionist seekers out there, be careful. Um, I love it because that's how I was growing up. That's how I was raised. But um, you also have to be um, light on yourself. You have to be supportive of yourself. You have to make sure 
perfection is that something that you'll never really achieve to be honest so striving for it is everything but at the same time you have to be willing to let go and 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 let go and that's something that Taj has always been on me and Terrell about and I'm finally getting there but in terms of external things that are providing difficult moments for me I like to get away and read I like to relax um, video games every now and then but truthfully I haven't played in years I've just been too busy, um, but just family, family time, running, working out, real estate. I love doing real estate and learning and, and reading about it. it. It's a beautiful departure for me and something I'm passionate about. Renee ZZ at 98 asks, will you ever consider making vlogs with your family? Yes. Um, Royal's been on me about doing vlogs and it's very foreign to me it feels foreign but we just did one actually and it was a lot of fun so I'm going to see how that comes about how that translates and if it if it feels good um, post recording it then it's something I'll probably keep doing okay who's that says will you be a guest in film family I don't know I've already told them that I would love to, to critique some family or child movies children movies but I've never got the invitation so film family I'm waiting for my invite okay uh, Tia Vonin wants to know any tips how to deal with stress work out work out no matter how stressful you are, a good workout usually helps quite a bit. Push-ups, boxing, run, um, you know, bench press, whatever it is you got to do. That's probably my biggest advice. That and reading and just um, being grateful. Practice gratitude. Say five things you're thankful for. Um, I'm thankful for this shirt. I'm thankful for my shoes. I'm thankful for the meal I had. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for four tires on my car I'm thankful for my education just keep rattling things you're thankful for I would do five in the morning five at night and you know obviously that helps with many other things but it also helps with stress Charlotte Art wants to know what's your favorite song from 3T this is pretty easy and it, it's gonna be anything it's just it's the most uh, sentimental song for sure it's a song that, you know, it, it came out of necessity and it's it's just captures my brothers and I quite well, um, you know, with the harmonies and it's just a song that, that means a lot to us and the fact that it was accepted li literally around the world in such a strong, positive way, it means a lot. And um, again, it's a song we wrote, we produced, we sang, we performed and it's it's our baby. They all are, but that one's really our baby. And, and to hear it still playing today and still being added to some big playlists is really cool. One Moonwalker wants to know, if you weren't a singer, what do you think you would be doing right now? That would probably be, huh, it, it'd either be, I think I would've went into baseball, to professional sports. Um, it was either baseball or, or singing. And if I wasn't singing, I, I would have been, I truly believe, a professional baseball player. It was my dream as a child. And, um, you know, I, I played with people who have been and, and they tend to think I would have been successful at it. So I think that's what I would have been doing. But in the haps of me not making it, I, I would be probably um, maybe teaching. I love, I love the idea of being a teacher and, and, and improving the youth life. Um, I think there's a lot of things, first of all, a lot of respect and love to all teachers out there, but I think there's a lot of things that our kids in the world um, can get better at. And, and I don't want to say, because they're under strict, you know, structure and strict rules on what they can teach and what they can say. So when I say that, I, I think I'm basically, I would try to start my own school and try to implement what I feel is important, uh, more character-based, more on love, more on great gratitude, more on empathy, 
Um, I think those are more important than any grade you can get.